January storms dropped trillions of gallons of water on California, enough to raise the levels at Lake Oroville 150 feet. It's about twice as full as it was at this time last year. Well, with all the dry weather we've been happening, we've been having, what's the real impact on our drought? CBS 13's Madison Keevy is getting answers from the experts. She joins us live from Lake Oroville right now. Madison? Yeah, this time last year, there would be no water this close to the marina. And you see out on the water, those houseboats are floating comfortably. This is good news, not just for people who like a good day on the lake, but also forecasters. It was gorgeous. I love seeing all the water rather than just brown hills. Lake Oroville hasn't been this high since spring 2020. A win for the state's water supply and boaters. I love it because you don't have to, um, uh, don't have to like march down a cliff, you know. Because when the water's super low, you're like walking down a cliff, and you know, the parking's super close. Reservoirs such as Oroville are, are the big ones that really carry us over from year to year to allow us to have these prolonged drought periods and, and still survive. The first snowmelt estimates last week show, based on where things are now. There could be average or above average runoff. Overall, you could say the water supply is in is in really good shape com compared to recent years. We're not going to fill up the big reservoirs, but we're we got a lot of uh, um, added storage and, and a lot more to come from snowmelt. Even with the first 70 degree day in Sacramento this weekend, it came an average a week early. This year hasn't been as warm as say. Some of our recent ones. If we have a few warm days, it's not really going to ripen it up and and, um, and and start running off any significant amounts. And the water is nice and blue and green rather than kind of brown. So that's always nice. Makes you hopeful for the swimming season that it won't be gross. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed indeed. Those forecasters I talked to told me that they can only see clearly about two weeks in the future. So we aren't out of the woods just yet. Something we've said a lot over the last couple years.